hello everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we are going to see some of the general gmail settings that we can customize as per our wish so when you create a google account or a gmail account then some of these settings are created with default values but that you can customize as per your need as per your wishes so we will be seeing those settings in this video and see that how can they affect the work quality and how can it make our usage of the gmail account more efficient so without any further ado let's just dive right into the topic first of all make sure you have opened up your google account or the gmail account go to this cork button that shows settings go to see all settings and now make sure you are in the general tab because we are going to make some changes in the general tab okay so the first thing is the main menu by default it will give you the new view so new view is actually a view that has been recently created and deployed in the gmail account that is by default used in gmail but if you want you can go to the original or the classic view it is especially beneficial for those who are familiar with the old interface of gmail so let us just select original view scroll all the way down and click on save changes so after this our gmail account will load once again and we would be able to see these changes so here now you can see the changes uh, over here like the promotion social all these tabs are present over here the labels that we were getting earlier has been removed and it all has been compressed into one uh, menu over here right so this is the original view that we are getting if you want to just change the view again you can do that again but here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change my theme a little bit to default so that it is easier for us to see and understand the things that are going on over here again if you want to just change back to the new view instead of the original view just go to the settings select new view and then once you click on save changes these changes would be applied next is the language so it basically selects that which language you want uh, your gmail content to be viewed in by default it's english of us but you can change it to any of the supported languages and that language would be changed only for gmail and none of the other google services apart from this the options that we are getting is like enable input tools option so there are uh, various text input tools that helps us to understand that what we are trying to type like in google search once you try to type something then there are automatic recommendations related to it so do you want those recommendations in alternate languages as well if you want you can just keep the checkbox checked otherwise you can just uncheck it over here next is right to left editing support so that is off it is basically used for languages that are written from right to left like urdu next is phone numbers so what happens is if you want to include phone numbers in any of the places then what would be the default country code by default we have set here as india because that's where i am using my phone but if you want you can just select the default country code to any other country from here this is actually a redundant step because once you are entering your phone number anywhere it would give you an option to change the country so this is a redundant uh, option next we have is the maximum page size so if you check your email uh, n number of conversations are loaded at a time by default the value is 50 but you can just change it to 10 15 20 or even 100 conversations per page this will be effective if you are trying to just take a look at how many emails are there otherwise this is also a redundant option because uh, we humans cannot possibly search from hundreds of thousands of emails manually we can do is just use the search tab of the um, gmail account and get our relevant emails next is the undo send or the cancellation period so that is set to 30 seconds by default its value is 5 seconds but we have uh, changed it to 30 seconds next we have is the default reply behavior so what is this default reply behavior actually what happens is uh, once we just get a mail and we want to reply to that mail so suppose we are getting a mail that has been mm, cc'd to 50 other email addresses and if we are trying to reply to it we don't want all those 50 emails to be notified we only want the sender to be notified okay 
so in that case we can just set our default reply behavior from here that is either we reply that means only the reply will be sent to the sender and none of the cc'd participants will get the email if we select reply all that means the sender along with all the cc'd participants will also get that particular reply so this is the default reply behavior we can set from here furthermore it is also a redundant step because for the individual emails we can customize it as per our wish so let us just see its example first of all let's just keep it as reply click on save changes so what happens suppose this is the email where i want to reply okay so uh, this is the team in google mail.com if i want to reply only this person is getting the email right mm, let me just delete this this is the default behavior so this is how it works and um, if we just go to reply all button so suppose if we have multiple uh, people over here then we can just select the reply all behavior as well in which the mail that we are sending would be sent to every person who is in that list so that's uh, the first part of the settings that we have covered basically most of the settings are the redundant settings but few of them can be used to customize how uh, the basic functionalities of gmail are working so that's it for this video and we will continue about the settings uh, general settings of gmail in the next video thanks for watching